What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Panthers Advice. Today, we're going to be talking about Iki Kwan Yu, and I have some good news, but let's take a look at what Dave Canella said in the Blueprint episode. For those of you who may not have caught it, take a look right here. Guys, plan right now to leave Iki as the best guy. Yeah. That probably goes back to what you said, you want to run the ball more yeah. versus what they did last year's sprint. And that's what he did well. You know, coming out is just a mauler in the run game. And so just continuing to be able to pile on that from a strength standpoint. And then just the nature of what our concepts are, our pass game. You know, we're really committed to getting the ball out. This is going to be a big emphasis for Bryce. Get the ball out. Get the ball out. We're going to be on a clock every single time in the spring. All right. Before we jump into the film room, let's talk about a couple of different things. One thing we have to talk about is something I've been saying for the last 12 months. Last year's coaching staff brought in guys that didn't fit the scheme. Then they had guys that were starters that didn't fit their scheme that they brought in. So Dave talks about Icky being a mauler. For those of you who remember Frank's offense, Icky never had the chance to be that. So Icky was kind of exposed last year, but in a way he was and he wasn't because that wasn't his strength, right? Because listen to what Dave said. All about the strength. So what is Dave talking about? Dave wants Icky to be a mauler. So we're going to get the run game going. That's why they drafted Jonathan Brooks. You got that tight end right there. Bam, set up the play action. And the reason I like this play action right here is because in the spread, I felt like Bryce got too comfortable, right? Bryce never really had to open up his hips. In the spread, he's going to get the ball just like this, right? If he's under center, he runs the play action. Bang, bang, bang. Bam, his hips are open. The second he faces like this, he rolls out left to right, his hips are already open. I can tell you right now, that's what Dave wants to do, right? Hit the play action, bang, 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 look around, and then step into the throw, his hips are open, bang. We're cooking with fire, man. Now back to Icky, because believe it or not, the clips I'm about to show you are from last year. There were times where Frank or Thomas did call some good plays. And you're going to see a completely different side of Icky that we didn't see last year because we were all so focused on Bryce Young and getting sacked, et cetera, et cetera. But once you look at all these great run plays that Icky was a part of, you're going to realize, oh, the left side was clearly the strong side when it came to running the ball. So with that being said, we're going to jump into the film room. Let me know your thoughts on Dave wanting Icky to be more of a mauler this year. I'm excited. But now let's jump to the film room. All right, guys, now we're in the film room, man. For those of you who don't think Icky's a mauler, man, look at this first play right here. Panthers are going to run an RPO. Watch Icky, right? He's securing that edge, takes care of that guy, then bang, gets second level two, and takes out the linebacker with his forearm, man. Let's run this back. You know we got to run this back. Take a look right here. As you're going to see, he's securing this edge right here, right? And then work all the way up to the linebacker after that. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right here. Bang. Clears out him. Linebacker gets to his outside barely, right? But look what happens. Bang. With that forearm, his left forearm knocks him down. Icky. Come on, man. Icky is a beast. And remember, this isn't from his big year where everybody was hyped. This was from last year. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at, you got Icky right here going against Bud Dupree. And Bud Dupree, man, he can play that in position. And look what Icky's doing, man. Look what Icky's doing. He is a mauler. But on top of that, look at that hand game, too. Let's run this back real quick because, you know, most of us didn't really pay attention to that because we were focused on Bryce Young, Mingo, Miles Sanders, Hubbard. And the only time we really paid attention to Icky was when he let up a sack. But we're trying to stay on the positives today. So take a look what happens right here. So you're going to see Bud's reading the play right here. Bang. Makes contact with Icky. He's going to try and push him back. The next thing Bud's going to try and do is get to the outside right here and take down Miles Sanders. Because he knows Miles isn't going right here. If he does, you know, you got two backers right here. It's not going to work. Let the play develop. Bang. Icky still got him up under that plate right there and then watch what happens next bang down he goes and bud dupree he can definitely play the end position but icky man very good job right there let's check out the next one 
When Dave said Icky was a mauler, he wasn't pulling it out of his you-know-what. He wasn't kidding, man. Take a look right here. I mean, he just clears the hole. I mean, he just clears the hole for Miles Sanders right there. Sanders didn't have to do much. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of this last year, but take a look at this once again. We're going to pause it right there. Bang. Now, obviously, the lineman is engaged with another guy, but Icky, man... He is a mauler. I mean, he's just knocking over these guys. It's just crazy because these guys aren't small, right? They're pretty big and icky, man. He is just clearing holes and taking names, man. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at right here, Icky does his job perfectly. Panthers running a little RPO, as you're going to see right there. And icky, man, great job. Let's run this back. I can't believe Hubbard fell on that. But let's take one more look at this real quick. Take a look what happens. Defensive end. Quick first step gets the outside, but that's exactly what Icky wants, right? Icky's got the backside right here, so he's got to seal this, right? This has to be sealed. That way the running back Hubbard can get through. If Icky lets his guy back inside, well, Hubbard could potentially bounce it back out here, but ideally he wants to hit the hole, right? Icky, bang, keeps his guy, seals the edge right there, man. Great stuff. Let's check out the next one. I think you guys are seeing a common trend on run plays icky <laughs> he's pretty good let's check out this play right here all right on this play right here there's actually a couple things i want to break down couple good couple bad bryce young big run right here but let's run this back because like i said before there's a couple things i want to go over so right here you're going to see the panthers they run the rpl right look at bryce his hips are open he's waiting to see what happens right here what's the route concept going to be single high safety he's looking this way I'm actually shocked Bryce doesn't come back and hit Mingo on the backside. He's already got the safety looking over here. With that being said, we're going to let the play develop, all right? Nothing's open. And this is one thing I noticed about Bryce is that when he starts to roll out, his hips don't stay open. Now, yes, he's getting pressure right there, right? You see that. But as you're going to see, he has a tendency of his hips not being open. So instead of his hips being open, it's going to be more like this right here. On the run, sometimes he would throw it where he can't bring his arm back because look how his hips are, right? So that's the first thing I want to look at. The second one is going to be Icky right here. Once again, we're going to see him, man, do a great job. The Saints defense, man, that was a tough defense. But Icky right here, man, great first step right there. Bryce Young, big run. So there's definitely some good, but there's also some bad. And <laughs> you expect that after the season we had last year. I think we have a couple more plays to go over. Let's keep it going. Once again, you got Icky right here. When I say he's a mauler man, I'm not kidding. Dave's not kidding. I mean, he just knocks over two guys. Now, obviously, the second guy, he had somebody on him. I can't quite tell who that guard is right there. I think it's Mays. This was a little bit later in the season. But, man, I'm excited. You add Brooks to the backfield, too. Hubbard, another year. Woo -woo. Cooking with fire, man. Let's jump to our last play right here. You got Amir going in motion. And look at Icky. Look at Icky clearing the hole. Do you guys see him right here? I mean, look what he's doing. Take a look at this one more time. Just clearing the hole. You got Mingo going backside right here. Bang. Look at that hole right there. I mean, just watch this man go right here. Bang. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. More content coming soon. We're going to have a better Icky video moving forward. I just want to do more research, get a more of understanding. You know, what happened in the past game? Was it... He was bad against this move, the first step, swim move, rip move, ghost move, just a play design. What went wrong? We're going to take a look at all that a little bit later in the offseason, man. Stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.